in the Santa Claus so you can relax. Okay, fuck the okay? This is a regular fun show. I just happen to be wearing this. But anyway, I will say again, are y'all ready for a show tonight? Oh, we got Santa Claus out of here, right there. So, I'm not Mrs. Claus. Santa Claus looked at me and called me Ho Ho Ho, so. That's my name. I'm Ho, one, two, and three. Who else? Somebody just laughed too loud. Oh. So we have a fun show lined up for y'all. I am going to bring the comedians that I call the reindeers and then the real center for tonight. Please welcome to the stage, Jeremy Meesey. He come all the way from VH1 when it was on air. Welcome to the stage, Laura Austin. She is one of the biological females in the show tonight. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, all the way from the movie Panther, Landu Lackey. Y'all want to sit in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be my chair. Yeah. Mm, they want me to sit next to Dad. <laughs> Speaking of Daddy, please welcome to the stage my sugar daddy for the night. Sorry for his real wife. Welcome to the stage Santa Claus, Timothy Gonzalez. <laughs> Y'all, he can't hug and shake everybody's hand. He just got off the sleigh. And, I'm waiting to sit down. Hey, baby, they, they should have had it. Please make some noise for Miss Cameron, Cameron Billy. Looks like Jesus dressed as Santa. <laughs> Actually, excuse me, it looks like Jesus dressed as Jesus dressed as Santa. But I get that as well. Looking at me, I am racially ambiguous. People have a hard time determining what I am. A lot of people think I'm Hispanic or they think I'm Native American. I'm not. I am actually half Korean on my mom's side and I am, much like this room, whitey, white, white on my dad's side. Be Caucasian. And Caucasian. There you go. I know you said cock. You were heavy on the cock on that. You are like, cock. I, I know what you were getting at. I'm a tiny Asian woman. I understand, sir. I get it. stereotypical Korean tiger mom. I had to be a doctor when I grew up. She insisted, because in her mind, I could only become one of two things when I grew up. I could either be a doctor or I could be a disappointment. So, I'll let you all guess which one I became. Yeah, that's all right, don't worry about this, it's my life. And my dad, being American, he felt otherwise about it. He was like, Karen, just want you to be happy. You can be anything you want to be when you grow up. So when I grew up, I became a lesbian. <laughs> I'm glad you all found my childhood trauma very amusing. Um. At the Sellers Law Firm, we believe the most important events are those that take place outside of the courtroom. That's why we fight for your rights, defend your freedom, and stand by you to ensure you don't miss out on what's important. Because at the Sellers Law Firm, you are more than a client. You are family. I want to sit down, talk about your case, and let's see how we can help you out. The Sellers Law Firm, where clients become family. Okay, Mr. Elfstein, I'll be right back, okay? Next. Okay, let's hear what you got. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. A 
Christmas. That's too much Christmas. Next. Ah. Don't let the busy holiday season keep you from taking care of your smile. Stop by or call Sweet Spot Smiles and book your appointment today. And I've always wondered, you know, being Asian, I never really thought that Santa was American. Um, well, now that I see, I used to think that Santa was Asian because every every gift you find at home says made in China in it. So I didn't think that Santa was actually real. And the elves, I don't believe in the elves either. Like, where the f do you get elves? I just think that the little people are dwarves that are just being trafficked in by Santa, you know? Like, nobody actually wants to go in and work for him because I really don't believe pay a living wage. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah. And Santa, I really also just believe that you are just a low-key stalker. Because think about it. He sneaks into your house. He checks to see if you're sleeping or not. And if you are sleeping, he goes into your living room and unloads his sack. <laughs> yeah. And when you think about the only other person that does that, you know, there's two people in the world, Bill Cosby and Santa. They're the only two people who can only come when you're sleeping. <laughs> come on, yeah. Yeah. You know that's true, Santa. Yeah. What else do I have here? I guess I'm going to tell one more Santa joke and I'm going to get out of here because I'm actually a little bit afraid of Santa because you are an old white man, and I'm a tiny Asian woman, and I know how you want this to end. So I'm going to say goodnight. My name is Brandon. And next we have coming up, Mr. Jeremy Messi. Uh, why don't we do this, guys? Could you do me a favor? Make some noise for everyone that's working, everyone that put this together tonight, everyone that made this happen. Make some noise. All those fine people on the truck, the stand. Thank you so much. This is really cool. This is uh, this is just what I needed. I found out this morning that my singing in the shower has become a problem at the gym. <laughs> Apparently, not a lot of fans of Frozen where I work out. You're right. They couldn't let it go. That's exactly right. I actually live across the street from the gym that I go to, and when I tell people that, they always ask, oh, do you walk to the gym? Do you jog to the gym? And I say, absolutely not. <laughs> no, I'm going there to work out. Besides, I keep my cigarettes in my car. <laughs> I go to a real fancy gym. My gym has a cardio cinema, which is pretty cool. You can watch movies on a big screen while you pedal away on your bike, and it's really cool until you show up with popcorn. Asking for butter. I don't know, I get a little intimidated at the fancy gym because I feel like sometimes people are looking at me, sometimes people are assessing me, looking at how much weight I'm putting on the bar. They used to really bother me, but I figured out the solution. Now when I go to the gym, I take crutches. This works. Now they walk by five pounds, good for you. <laughs> Uh, a little bit more about me. Uh, my name is Jeremy Nisi. Uh, some people have trouble with my last name. I think it's pretty easy. It's just four letters. M-E-S-I. Here's what's cool. It's like talking about yourself, but with a positive affirmation in Spanish. <laughs> Let's try it all together once, shall we? Me? Si. Si. Like half of you don't like yourself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this feels good. You should do this every day when you wake up. Do it all together with me right now. Me? Si. Yes. But of course, the guest of honor, the reason for the season, Santa Claus is here. My gosh. this. This kind of looks like the Dan Aykroyd Santa Claus from Trading Places. Anybody else picking up on that? Anyone else old enough to remember that? Okay. Uh, 
But uh, Santa, Santa kind of needs to get canceled this year. I think we're all just about over Santa. I don't know if you heard, but earlier this year, some photos leaked out of Santa in blackface. Uh, he said it was just soot from the chimney, but we know, we know. I mean, let's face it, Santa is really just a low rent Willy Wonka. Think about it, right? He's got his skinny little elves, which are just skinny oopaloopas. Right? They're always trying to get a little bit closer to kids. I think it's true. I think, I think Santa's double dipping. I think, he, I think Santa's kind of bipolar. He's like a socialist in the wintertime, and then he turns into a mega capitalist in the summer, starts selling his candy. I think that's what it is. I think Santa needs to figure out what you're all about. I mean, really, what are you, Santa? Tell us, we wanna know. Are you a boomer? No? I mean, he's kind of timeless, right? Are you a Gen Xer? No. Are you a millennial? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, you could be a Gen Xer. You prefer to be alone. You're a little more self-sufficient. That makes sense. I think you might be a boomer, right? You might come in, take whatever you want, not worry about who's coming behind you. Just ruin the planet. That could be you. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe Santa's a liberal, right? No? No, just wants to give everything away and not, no? Maybe Santa's conservative. Maybe wants to have a list, wants to make sure you're on the list, want to make sure you check out and get in. I don't know, maybe. I'm just trying to figure this out right now. It's more of a HOA meeting at this point, guys. Don't get your other stuff. But uh, we've come to the difficult part. I've actually thought about this for, for, for many weeks leading up to the show, how to end uh, this set, this roast of Santa, this this magnificent, magical event. And uh, with everything going on in the world, I, I really think there's only one thing I can say at the end of this, ladies and gentlemen, and that is Merry, Christ Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you very much. And now, if you would do me a big favor, clap one more time, twice as loud for Laura Austin. You guys had like chicken Alfredo. Let me just tell you something. I had like two bites. If I had more than that, I would be leaving the middle of the set to go to the bathroom. Lactose intolerance, it doesn't give a sh, guys. I give all the sh actually. I'm just kidding. I'll just do that in private. Um, I'm just gonna, I just put some in my purse for later. So I'm just like, I don't care whose mouth has been on this. I'm gonna put it in my mouth later. So, this guy gets it. This guy gets it. I'm gonna give you a couple insults that I thought of as I was really high watching the Santa Claus with my dogs. Uh, you're a chimney sweep. <laughs> you candy cane. I feel like all of your sex toys are candy cane themes. Everything's got a hook for that G spot. <laughs> Santa definitely swings both ways. <laughs> You agree, Brent? <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Claus, you can, you can attest to it. You're both. This guy, this guy fucking gets it. <laughs> I think it's bullshit that my parents will hold Christmas over my head year round because Santa sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. And be good because otherwise your mom's gonna throw your presents in the bonfire for back talking again, okay? It's not fair that my, pre my parents get to hold presents over me 365 days of the year. That is a lot of time to be good. So I just feel like as long as I'm good in December, that should be enough, but it's not because you're a greedy bitch. <laughs> Show me sweet <laughs>
in the wrong time, Santa. Brother Week, Santa, I'm at Wendy's trying to get a four for four and go, right? Homeless dude gonna slide behind the car box. I ate that young blood. I was like, I'm feeling generous, I just got my taxes back. I'm like, sure, what can I get for your old time? He's like, yeah, let me get a, oh, let me get a baconator, french fry, one of the frosties with the slip in it. You know, I like it like that, I'm blood. <laughs> Georgia is your local home insurance agency committed to making sure your home and assets are protected. There are many elements to consider when protecting your home, including theft, wind, water, and fire. Let our experienced agents create a policy that tailors to your budget and your protection needs. We can also provide home warranties that help to cover appliances and other expenses. Call Insurance Specialists of Georgia today. Mexican Santa. <laughs> Goddamn 
Mrs. Claus is a Mr. Too. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> if y'all don't know what the f I am, something wrong with y'all. <laughs> Sir, starting with you, did you see my print while I was sitting down? <laughs> First of all, I rarely feel like a woman the whole night. But I'm like, let me be proper because I don't know where I'm at. I don't know McDonald's. <laughs> remind me of the movie White Christmas. I can see them open up the barn doors and the snow just falling. And my f <laughs> coming in between with a big red dress. <laughs> and then Tim to come on my side and ruin it. <laughs> don't Timothy, uh, don't his Santa Claus costume look rigged. <laughs> Start eating. And I've had too much wine. 
I've had, yeah, I've had too much wine to be censored, so sorry. I go to church. I know all of you do too. You're white. You all claim that you do. Um, but I am. I do one too. If you. All right. Anyway, <laughs> my last name's Gonzalez. I'm not usually Santa. I just usually play a, a bad Mexican Jesus by day. Um, uh, but I am. I am. My last name's Gonzalez. I'm a terrible excuse for a Mexican. Uh, I can't jump. I can't swim. I can't climb, I can't do shit in the yard, and I'm claustrophobic, so that eliminates all the carpool duties for me. Um, uh, I'm so bad of a Mexican, in fact, that up until recently, I thought that when ICE was in a neighborhood, I thought it was just a good place to get your car fixed 24 hours a day. Like, I just thought that you could find a good mobile mechanic, one of these white dudes here at the table that claim they do roofing. Um, <laughs> they can never shut up. Uh, but no, I just thought it was a good place to get your car fixed. Uh, but no, no, I mean, ICE is in the neighborhood. Uh, they're up all night, but they scatter. But it's crazy. You know, I'm not, not really into politics. It's, a, it's a, cr a scary, crazy time, though, when your last name's Gonzalez, because there's a lot of threat about sending me back. <laughs> and I work my ass off to get out of the trailer park. Like, I can't go back now. <laughs> I've made it. What else is going on? Uh, I'm a parent. I don't have any jokes for that. My kids are in the car, so. <laughs> I know there's a couple of y'all in here in the same boat. <laughs> Anybody in here celebrate anything besides Christmas? Anybody celebrate something? Some date nights? Woo! Yeah. Uh, I'm celebrating something. I recently graduated. Yeah. My lawyer's here. He can testify to this. It's going to cost me, but uh, it's official. Uh, finally graduated DUI school. <laughs> but it's not for what you think. Uh, it's for marijuana, clearly. Uh, yeah. Uh, but it's official. The certificate came in the mail today, so I'll be going to Dollar Tree getting a certificate. I mean, a, a plaque to put on my wall of accomplishments right there next to my divorce certificate. <laughs> Forklift certification. <laughs> GD. Uh, the thing from Dare. <laughs> Walls getting crowded. Uh, not that wall. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys had a good time tonight. Um, again, round of applause for everybody you saw tonight. Uh, I, uh, I'm really, really glad you guys came out tonight. All jokes aside, this is a benefit show. We've been doing this is our 12th show that we've done, and it's all for Operation Lunchbox. So please, round of applause for Dave Newman and what they do. If you don't know what Operation Lunchbox is, I'll explain it really quickly. Uh, in short, they feed hungry kids over the weekend that only eat free lunch at school. And I was one of those kids, so it's always been near and dear to my heart. So I jumped right behind and on board with what Dave's got going on. And um, yeah, so whether it's money, your time, sharing a post on Facebook, just anything to let people know about Operation Lunchbox and their mission. So I would like to bring Dave Newman and his wife on stage with us, please. Where are you going, Miss Claus? No, I'm not going to stay. I can't go stay. This is as this is as nice as I've ever seen Dave dressed. I've got a gift for Dave, though. Dave, get up here. Tell us a little bit. Of, tell us something, Dave. She's the talker. Of course, she's the wife. You got what? All right. Uh, t tell, us, tell us a little bit about what you guys got going on, um, how many kids you feed, and how people can help. So, you know what? Never mind. You want to just do the gift? <laughs> she doesn't want to talk. Can y'all tell? She goes, I've got a gift for Dave. I've got my bag here, my Santa bag. Do y'all want to find out what's in the bag? Yeah. yeah. What do you think it is? Y'all take a guess. Do you want to open the gift? This is 
You want to get, you want to come, Dave, get over here. Come over a little bit. Come over here a little bit. All right. Y'all come get in the middle stage. Yep. And I'm going to come all the way over here. Okay. This is Dave's wife and Dave from Operation Life. What y'all don't know is Dave, are you, aren't you pregnant? How many kids y'all got, Dave? How many kids do y'all think he's got? Because Dave's been a busy. Dave, Dave feeds over, what, 4,000 kids a week. And his wife's been pregnant for six years. Like, I don't even have as many kids as Dave's got. You're the permanent DD? All right. Uh, Dave, actually, what we're going to do here, what I have a gift is, I understand that you guys are expecting right now, right? Oh, sh Who wants to find out what Dave's having? This is the whitest thing I could have thought of in McDonald's. We're going to have a gender reveal party. Yeah. It's a Brent Star. It's a Brent Star. <laughs> no, if, fuck, if glitter comes out of the balloon, then it probably is a Brent Star. Is it? Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. What are, first of all, first, let me have this. What are the gray ones? What are the silver ones? Are those Brent stars? <laughs> all right, all right, Brent. The silver ones are you. Which one do you want them to pop, Brent? The black one. The black one. He said all the white ladies. All right. You what? You're a gold star lesbian. All right. On the count of three, Dave, pop it. This is serious, y'all. I want y'all to all lock in on Dave's face. This is his third, fourth, third kid. And he's about to seriously find out what it is. One, two, three. She said it. He doesn't want to call me. He doesn't want to call me. It's already happening. Hey. It's somewhere in the crowd. His brother says at least it's not a Brent Star. Uh, <laughs> It's a girl. Congratulations. Can we get, can we get your reaction? Do you, do you have any girl? First girl. First girl. Woo! <laughs> Dave Newman, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. This is 30 kids. Seriously, he's having a girl. Um, Dave, we love you. Guys, I'll, I'll talk for him because I do so often. There's so many different ways. I don't, they, Aaron, I don't want to let the balloons go because I don't know how you'll get them down. Please don't. <laughs> There's so many different ways you can help. Uh, not just monetarily, but you can volunteer your time on Thursday nights. The warehouse is off of 42 in between Locust Grove and McDonough. You can go by on Thursday nights, volunteer your time. If you don't have time, you can, volunteer, you can donate food. Some of you have tonight. Uh, if you don't have anything at all, the minimum, when you see Operation Lunchbox on social media, which you all are on, Share it, like it, just let more people know. We've got some businesses here tonight. I know at least half of you, if you're already involved in Operation Lunchbox, make some noise. So we've got a lot of work to do, a lot of work. Dave, how many kids a week is reported to you by the school system that are hungry? Here in county, 1,200 kids. How many are fed by Operation Lunchbox? 1,500 to 2,000 every week. So there's a lot of room, guys. There's so many different ways you can help. That does sound great, but there's a lot of a lot of room to grow. We've got companies here that aren't already involved, and there's so many ways that you can, and that's why we do these events, so that you guys can find out a little bit more. You can laugh, you can drink, you can have a date night, have a good time, but ultimately, plug in, reinvest right here in the community like the Sellers Firm, Aaron in the Grand Gourmet, or Refinery Hill, Thomas with Advanced Roofing, and so many more. Guys, I'm gonna close out the show. I just wanna say again, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thank you for being patient. Aaron, isn't this your first event here? This is our first public event, yes. Okay, first public. Did you guys have a good time? Woo! You love it? If you know somebody that needs food, is getting married, or any of it, that's the man to call right there. He did both of my weddings. <laughs> and this one, is working out pretty well. We changed the food a little bit. Uh, I'm just kidding, baby. He did not do the first wedding. So, but hey, guys, one more round of applause for the staff, the marketing page. All your community's time. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great time.